This is Ryan Kennedy, Agronomy Sales Manager for the Garden City Co-op. Today I'd like to take just a minute and talk about spider mites. July is upon us and with the hot temperatures in southwest Kansas cornfields come spider mites. There have been reports of some mite pressure showing up early this year in some of the fields. Spider mites can be a difficult pest to control, but with the use of a good miticide that provides long residual applied early, the damage and yield loss can be minimized. The key to success is to apply as a preventative before the pressure begins to increase and they get out of hand. This is typically pre-tassel to tassel time. It's also good to get it applied before pollination to get coverage on clean leaves. Good coverage is key, so running three to five gallon by air is much better than one to two. Another thing to look at is the weather forecast. Hot, dry conditions will increase mite pressure as cool, wet weather with high humidity will slow them down. We have two different mite species that can be a problem. The banks, grasps, and the two spot. They have four stages of life, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. How fast they complete these stages and reproduce is directly related to the environmental conditions. With optimal mite conditions, which are hot, dry, and low humidity, they can go from egg to adult in a week or less. If we are cooler, wet, with higher humidity, this can take as long as two weeks or even longer. Mites live and feed on the bottom side of the leaves. They will usually start off at the lower leaves in small colonies and work their way up the plant. If a field has not been treated and small pea to dime sized colonies are found on the lower leaves, it's time to spray. When scouting, pay attention to field's edges near wheat stubble, CRP, or pasture grass. They tend to be worse on the south side of fields and many times along busy dirt roads that get a lot of dust blowing into the corn. Dust around feed yards can also be a good place to look. Once they have caused leaf damage, it's easy to see. Look for yellow discoloration on the top side of the leaves. The main takeaway from this video should be to apply early and keep the mites out because once they get established, it's too late. If you have any questions or need to line up a miticide application, please give myself or one of the other agronomy managers a call here at the Garden City Co-op. Thank you.